Heavy Cardi has returned, and I don't think he's going to disappear again. I have a very difficult theory on that, but just follow along here. Well, actually, it's like two or three theories. I'm not Matt Pack, but I am gonna take you through why I believe Mario Judah is the sole reason Cardi will drop. I could be completely wrong here and embarrass myself, but guess what? I love making videos, so I don't care. Now look, we all know this man takes extremely heavy inspiration, <laughs> heavy on heavy by the way, extremely heavy inspiration from the Pinocchio-esque man himself. So of course he's gonna disappear just like his daddy does following suit. Mario Judah has been radio silent for years, but as of a few days ago, he has returned to Instagram yet again after years of silence. It's honestly kind of amazing seeing his engagement this strong after his long vow of not saying a single word, not being on social media, absolutely nothing. The man's got like 5,000 comments at this point off of a snippet alone, but what is the catalyst for this man's return? See, here's the thing. Cardi has been edging his fan base for three years at this point, right? Stringing along every single rep Rick Owens wearing all black dressing vampire wannabe kid to the best of his ability by doing absolutely nothing. Nothing. But a leak here, a little story there, but no real engagement with his audience. Playboy Cardi is basically Jim Jones and all of his fans are the people of Jonestown. The only difference between Cardi and Jim Jones is that Jim Jones ended up following through with what he promised his people, which was death. Mario Judah has seen this and copied him to a T, disappearing from the internet with the occasional strange story, building hype around his name. Sounds familiar, right? The real difference though is that Mario Judah is using a thing called fear mongering to farm engagement while Cardi doesn't do anything. Now, whether that's because Cardi has amassed millions of listeners on Spotify, plus his fan base is a million times bigger than Mario Judah, which is crazy seeing the size of Mario Judah. Fear mongering is the action of deliberately arousing public fear or alarm about a particular issue. The issue being, this man told his hundreds of thousands of followers that the world is about to end in a few days because yada, 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 yada. Go get baptized, yada, yada. Now, there are a plethora of issues I have with this, which I'll get into later, but keep following along. How much do you want to bet that the whole time Mario has been gone, he's been working on music and this supposed end of the world shit is just a project. Now, he went through the whole he fell off phase promoting stupid NFTs, you know. 2021 was a wild year, I'll admit it. But this man has really been quiet, really, really quiet ever since that year. Now let's go back to this video on his Instagram. Use your brain. Like I said earlier, this is a snippet of new music connect the dots. Yet, you've got people in the comments genuinely unnerved by what he's saying in the caption. Literal fear mongering just to get engagement. The man's Instagram bio is Jesus Christ is Lord. Now I'm not knocking religion. In fact, even saying the word, I feel like I'll get hit with that yellow money sign. So to get to the point, this man is going to drop within a few days. Albeit, I can't exactly say that he's going to copy Cardi verbatim this time around because goddamn, what has he got to work with? Unless he's got an extremely close source, nobody really knows what evolution Cardi has gone through since whole lot of red, other than the little snippets and leaks we've heard over the last few months. But because Cardi makes people sign NDAs, that's highly unlikely. So my theory is that this can range between three things, and I'll go from least likely to most likely. First theory that is least likely. Mario Judah is about to redo everything that he did a few years ago because of the hype surrounding Cardi right now. Now, I don't take Mario Judah for an idiot. I don't think he's dumb enough to put himself through the exact same thing he already did because he saw where that got him. It built up some attention around his name, yes. But was it good attention? Nobody really takes this man seriously. I mean, you had people saying that even though he literally called his debut project Whole Lotta Red, the songs actually weren't that bad, even though they were copying Cardi, verbatim in fact. Now the wild thing about that project is that Mario Judah's whole lot of red and Cardi's whole lot of red have two completely different sounds, but they both sound like Cardi. Keep following. See what Mario Judah didn't know when he dropped his version of whole lot of red is that Cardi wasn't about to drop the same baby voice, low effort dribble that he was known for up until that Christmas Eve. He dropped something completely different that at the time people hated. I mean, whole lot of skips was literally trending that night. And it's crazy because now it's regarded as a project that changed the whole genre as a whole. While Mario Judah's project was something that we would have expected from Cardi, which is why he kept saying, Yo, Playboy Cardi, where's whole lot of red, bro? We want whole lot of red. If it's not here and delivered to the world before December 6th, I will drop it. So I don't think this theory is solid. I don't think he's about to make the same mistake twice. Otherwise, he's insane. Did I ever tell you the definition 
of insanity. Second theory that I sort of think is what's really going on here. Mario Judah is actually about to drop his own project with his own sound that won't too much derive from Cardi. Now I think this is more likely because like I said with the last theory, he knows where copying Cardi got him last time. He's not going to do that again. That's what people expect. But in a sense, he would be doing that again because like I said earlier, everybody thought Cardi was going to come out with the same regular schmegular and he completely surprised everyone that didn't know the project was actually going to sound the way it did until we got it. I think he's going to copy that move and do his own sound. You can especially tell because that snippet did not sound like anything he's ever done before. But the crazy thing is that it kind of sounds like something off of Whole lot of Red. See where I'm going with this? Now I'm not saying it was good. In fact, I actually had to mute it while I was reading the caption because of how much I didn't like it. But it is different. I'll give him that. With the whole, oh, the world will end in a few days bullshit. I think he's literally talking about this possible project. And the final theory I have and the most likely conclusion is that Mario Judah is about to take advantage of Cardi's rollout. Now I say this because think about how much meat heavy Cardi was munching up during Cardi's rollout before. It's possible that I could be wrong about the first two theories and he's doing the same exact thing again. With Cardi seemingly preparing to drop his new album, Mario is going to do what he does best, get on that coattail and ride it as best as he can. I feel like the only difference this time around is that he's not going to call his new project music or anything like how Cardi is calling his new project. I would hope to God he wouldn't take it that far, but how would I know? What I've gotten from this nigga being back is that he's smart, but he's not bright. When I say that, I mean that this whole time we thought he fell off, he wasn't gonna come back. He was preparing for this moment. This is what he's been waiting on. He's on tip so bad, just like his biggest inspiration, even without the hype, because we all know this man doesn't have anywhere near the hype that Cardi has. By the way, this isn't a eat Cardi's dick up video. That's Mario's job. I'm just saying that, you know, between the two, it's obvious which one is copying who since he said multiple times that he's his biggest fan. Do I think this shit will work for him? I, I don't know. I mean, this isn't 2020. There's no pandemic at this point. We're not as bored as we were back then. So it's like, his antics aren't that entertaining this time around, at least to me personally. Things move so quickly that even if I'm right about every single thing in this video, no one is going to care a few months down the road. I mean, remember how everyone was super hyped for Cardi's new project before it came out? Everyone was begging this man to drop. History is literally repeating itself. But the thing is, if history is repeating itself in that way, Who's to say it wouldn't repeat itself when it comes to Mario Judah? I want you to actually pause this video, go listen to the snippet, and then tell me if it sounds like something you've heard before. My point being, when Mario Judah first blew up, nobody knew that he was like a super Cardi nerd, right? Like, he blew up off of that Disney villain song, and then it's like, later down the road, we get all this Cardi copying nonsense. And I'm really just hoping that he doesn't do the exact same thing again, though, because we all know how that works out in hip hop. The fans whine about wanting something new, but when the artists do it, they don't like it. But if they do the same thing over and over again, it's gonna be a problem. Hypocritical myths, that's all hip hop is. And it's no different with Mario Judah because he's talking about Jesus Christ as Lord and all this nonsense, yet the snippet sounds and looks demonic as hell. Speaking of which, I don't like how certain rappers and artists are using religion as like a marketing tactic, like in their stupid music. Like, I don't know, I don't even follow along with all that stuff stuff but i just find it kind of disrespectful and then it's like in the snippet it looks demonic so it's kind of like what the fuck are you talking about bro look at how you're looking in the camera right now like you gonna say don't worry about the song it's just a diss song towards satan but you look like satan in this video just heavier like i don't know man it's it's something about this that like just really rubs me the wrong way then you're gonna put a detailed tutorial in the caption of how to baptize yourself in your own home like you're weird and heavy like i, I think this shit is weird that's all i have to say though i'm sorry all i can say is i hope mario judah does something different this time around and actually sticks around and makes a a real artist of himself you know not just oh this is the uh, this is the fat guy that sounds like cardi you know what i mean that's all i got for you guys though i'm not letting you guys forget that i'm also throwing a party in october october 21st be there or you a lame nigga later Underground radio. Keep it 100, bitch. Walk your ass down with the 40 in the switch. Walk your ass down with the 40 in the switch. Walk your ass down with the 40 in the switch. I was tapping at your head. You was running like a bitch. Bro, I took off on the book. Me at